Two in the town is on hurried early. She's now trotting in fourth position. Dream of Joy is in behind her sixth. Miss Nittany is parked on the outside from seventh. Then it's Fatima Levac who's eighth. Charms Chip is ninth. And end of the story after that costly break trails the field. Andre D. A. Solo now takes the front. Here comes Marita's victory who's tipped out and underway second as they hit the quarter in 28 seconds flat. Global Confession now back in third. Flirty two, a length and a half from her fourth. Due in the town, gap slightly fifth as Marita's victory brushes to the front. Due in the town is off stride. Due in the town has gone on a break and Miss Nittany is now off stride. Both Due in the town and Miss Nittany jumped it off on the back stretch. And here comes Silverman with Flirty two taking his shot for the front. And he's coming after Marita's victory as they hit the half in 57 seconds flat. And Flirty two is trying to brush past Marita's victory. And these two are heads apart, and Flirty 2 has made the lead. Andre D. A. Solo getting a nice trip on the inside races third. Global Confession fourth. Dream of Joy is underway on the outside. Global Confession gets out in front of her. Also on a break there is Fatima Levesque, and Charms Chip has gone off stride. As they head toward the three quarters, Marita's victory back to the outside. It's Flirty 2, but Marita's victory coming right back to her. Andre D. A. Solo in good striking position, and Dream of Joy a slick move up the rail of she can shake loose from there. Three quarters, 127 and three. And it's Marita's victory with an eighth of a mile to go. She's three lengths in front. Andre D.A. Solo is second. Dream of Joy trying to get through toward the outside. Linstead working hard on Marita's victory, who's almost home. Dream of Joy, one last surge on the outside. Dream of Joy is charging up on the outside. What an upset. Dream of Joy to win it. Marita's victory was second. Global confession third. 158 and four. Is number one, Dream of Joy. Two year old victory dream filly out of Astoria Low Bell by Joan de V, owned by Ali Levine of Melmo, Sweden. Trained by Jonas Cernison of the Pear Erickson Barn. And perhaps the biggest win in the career of driver Jim Matinas as he takes the Mary Annabelle final with Dream of Joy. The time 158 and 4, and the results have been posted official. Standing by in the winner's circle for the trophy presentation, we have Mr. and Mrs. Bruce Frankel to present the Mary Annabelle Trophy to the connections of Dream of Joy. Swedish ownership here for this daughter of Victory Dream from the Ericsson Barn. Also trackside, Mr. and Mrs. Jack Campbell, the parents of Hall of Fame driver John Campbell, in the winner's circle to assist with the Mary Annabelle Trophy presentation. Number one, Dream of Joy, pays 3640, 1180, 660. Second, number three, Marita's Victory, 544 even. And finishing third, 2A, Global Confession, paying 940. 1 3 exacto, 177 even. The 1 3 2 try, 80380. And the pick three, $930.40. The upcoming sixth race, no changes. It's the Peter Houghton Memorial Final, two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. No changes in the pick three, races six, seven, and eight. Post time for the sixth race, 14 minutes. Complete order of finish for the Mary Annabelle, 1, 9, 5, 3, 2, 10. Due in the town, finished 7th, was disqualified and placed 8th for causing interference while on a break. That's right, Jimmy. I see your name listed as a driver every start. I also see a scratch stick and a break. Tell us about Dream of Joy then. Well, up at um, Poconos, she went up there. It was the first time racing under the lights, and she got very excited. And uh, she just kind of got all miscombobulated, as you think. And uh, she come back. She wasn't just right after that race, so we just scratched her and uh, gave her the time, and she come back better than ever. She qualified third and uh, made the final. Obviously, tell us about the trip tonight. Tonight's trip was uh, difficult. There was plenty of breakers up the backside. We were just trying to stay trotting and hope for fifth, and 
We just snuck up the pylons around the last turn, trying to save some ground, because I didn't feel she was the best, but I knew she can go with them. So the more ground we saved, the better she had coming home. And once we got free, she just smoked home. The fractions uh, worked to your advantage? Yeah, they were flying to the half in 57, and, you know, two-year-old trotting fillies trotting that fast. You knew some, some of them were going to make some bobbles. At, so. at, what point, at what point do you think that uh, you might be able to win it? Obviously, they come home with one one and three. When the two favorites broke up the backside, I, I had a good, good feeling she was going to win. Okay, James Matinas, congratulations. Dream of Joy is the Mary Annabelle winner for 1999. Thank you. But I don't think a lot of people expected a winner tonight with Dream of Joy. Probably not. Uh, she, you know, she has not been out here too much. Uh, we've been taking her really easy. Try to stay away from the early rush here at the Midlands and uh, try to point her for this race. And uh, sometimes it works out, and today it did. Yeah, the, the trip worked out uh, kind of like a dream, didn't it? Yeah, I'm very, I'm very pleased and happy for Jimmy. He did a great job with the horse, and uh, I guess I don't know many times I can thank him, but he did a super job for me. Okay, Perrickson, thanks very much. Winning trainer here with Dream of Joy in the Mary Annabelle